Hey there, future Philly peeps. Get ready to go from yo what's up to yo I'm loving it as we dive into the city of brotherly love. I'm Dawn D'Amico, your trusty neighborhood realtor, taking you through the cheesesteak-loving, history-packed streets of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're about to tackle the top five questions that folks like you just can't resist asking before making the leap into this urban playground. So grab your Liberty Bell size curiosity. Let's uncover the secrets, the sights, and the sauce that makes Philly the place to be. Get ready for the scoop on skyscrapers, scrapple, and everything in between. Let's get down to moving to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the top five frequently asked questions. First up, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The first question everyone wants to know, and some people feel like they already know the answer, but we're really gonna break down this one. Is Philadelphia safe? Philadelphia has a reputation for being a dangerous city, but it is actually quite safe. The violent crime rate in Philadelphia is lower than the national average and the property crime rate, it's about the same. However, there are some neighborhoods in Philadelphia that are more dangerous than others. So it is important to do your research on websites like niche.com before you make your move. It's true, Philadelphia has a higher violent crime rate than most other large cities. However, it's important to note that crime rates can vary significantly even within the city itself. Some neighborhoods in Philadelphia are much more dangerous than others. For example, the neighborhood of Frankfurt has a violent crime rate of about 1,400 per 100,000 residents, which is more than twice the city's average. But overall, Philadelphia is a relatively safe city. It is important to be aware of the crime rates in the different neighborhoods. So if you're planning on visiting or moving to Philadelphia, it's a really good idea to do some of your own research on the crime rates in specific neighborhoods that you're interested in to make sure you are comfortable with them. Now, I want your feedback about these videos. I might not give a shit what you have to say, but I still appreciate your perspective. My name is Dawn D'Amico, and I'm a licensed realtor in Pennsylvania and over the river in New Jersey. I've lived in the Philadelphia Metro all my life. And this video, it could be hours long if you really wanted all the dirt on the Philadelphia area. So if you're considering a move and you want more content like this to help you decide if this place is right for you, you might want to like, subscribe, share, and comment. But hey, that's your choice. Ask me your burning questions about living in the Philadelphia metro area, including in New Jersey. If you are making a move into or out of the area, let's connect and see if working together makes sense. My contact details are below. The next question we get a lot is what is the cost of living in Philadelphia? Now, the cost of living in Philadelphia, it's about the same as the national average. However, there are some things that are more expensive in Philadelphia, such as housing and transportation. If you're coming from a city with a low cost of living, you might be a little surprised at how expensive Philadelphia can be. There are several cost of living calculators available right in your app store these days. So you can really prepare yourself for the cost of living here compared to wherever it is you live right now. Now, if you're moving from a city like New York or Los Angeles, then Philadelphia's cost of living will give you a lot more breathing room in your budget. But if you're moving from a place that has a much lower cost of living, you might be shocked at our costs. It really is a matter of perspective from where you live right now. So if you're thinking of moving to Philly from a cost of living utopia, prepare for a newfound appreciation for your budgeting. What are the best neighborhoods to live in Philadelphia? That's the next question we get a lot of. There are many great neighborhoods to live in Philadelphia Metro, but there are some that are getting a lot more attention from area websites. And I'm sure you've heard about these if you've been doing some research about the area. Center City, it's the heart of Philadelphia and is home to many of the city's most popular attractions like the Liberty Bell 
and Independence Hall. Rittenhouse Square is a trendy neighborhood with a mix of apartments, condos, and townhomes. It's also home to a number of shops, restaurants, and bars. Then we've got Fishtown, a historic neighborhood that has been undergoing a major transformation in recent years. I remember when you could buy a townhome there for $5,000. It's now home to a number of trendy shops, restaurants, and bars. Northern Liberties is also a trendy neighborhood that is quickly becoming one of the most popular popular places to live in Philadelphia. It's home to a number of art galleries, boutiques, and restaurants. University City is home to the University of Pennsylvania and Drexel University. It's also home to a number of hospitals and research institutions. Now, although these are the most talked about neighborhoods, there are so many more that you would love just as well that just don't get as much attention. If you're moving here, we're gonna to get to explore those options too. The next question we get a lot, what are the best things to do in Philadelphia? This is a tough question for an easy answer because it's going to really depend on what you're into. It also depends on if you're a young adult who wants to find all the party spots or are you a family of five with three kids being under 10 years old? So trying to answer the question about the best things to do in Philly with a broad brush for everyone watching this video, well, it's really nearly impossible. And that's why a personal call with me will be in order when the time comes. But for a city so rich in history and culture, there are so many things to do and see here. So I'll tell you what the most popular attractions in Philly are right now in 2023. The first one is the Liberty Bell. It's one of the most iconic symbols of American freedom. Independence Hall is where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were both signed. The Philadelphia Museum of Art is the largest and most popular museum in the whole entire United States. Then we've got the Eastern State Penitentiary, a former prison that is now a popular tourist attraction, especially during Halloween. The Barnes Foundation is a private art museum that houses a collection of impressionist and post-impressionist paintings. And that's your answer for the best things to see on your discovery tour to Philadelphia. Next one we get a lot of is how do I get around in Philadelphia? There are so many ways to get around Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a very walkable city and biking is also a popular way to get around. But if you're too lazy for that shit, there's SEPTA, our public transportation system in Philadelphia. It operates buses, subways, trains that stretch well out into the suburbs and it connects with surrounding states too. And there's PATCO, the PATCO Speed Line, a commuter rail line that connects Philadelphia to New Jersey. And if you've got a smartphone in your hand, then you have access to Uber and Lyft, the most popular ride hailing services that can be used to get around Philadelphia and all the surrounding areas too. And there are plenty of drivers available at all hours of the day and night. I can assure you of that. And Philly still has plenty of yellow cabs that you can hail out on the street as well. And despite my smart ass sense of humor, I absolutely love helping people find the right place for them right here in the Philadelphia area. I'm Dawn D'Amico and I'm a licensed realtor in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey. If you're looking to buy or sell in a different state, well, that sucks for you. But I can still answer your burning real estate questions and refer you to an agent in your market. If you have decided that your heart is set on living somewhere in the Philly metro, reach out to me below. I love hearing from people just like you who want to live in one of the best metros in the country. And I'll see you in the next video.